what is up guys welcome back to another trip to the thrift if you guys are enjoying the videos hit that like button drop a comment down below and subscribe if you are not already so let's go see what we can find this week all right guys let me start off by saying today they are having a 50 percent off sale which i hate coming in here there's already people fighting over carts <laughs> Uh, but yeah, surprisingly, I don't like coming in here on the half-off sale days. There's just too many people. People are already fighting. But I was in the area, so why not? Animal Crossing Amiibos for $4.99 half-off, so $2.50. These might be useful again whenever Animal Crossing comes out for the Switch. There's this United Pacific. I don't know, never heard of the brand. $5.99 Anaheim jersey. And then here's this single-stitched um, Fruit of Loom tee, size XL for $1.99, but it's a dollar, this Alaska shirt. It's nothing crazy, but I'm just going to get it for personal wear because I kind of like it. I had to get out of there. People are too wild for me on these 50% off days, but <laughs> let's go see what else we can find at a different store. We got a little Jeff Gordon bear. Two bucks. I found this Kappa jersey, it's a size XL for $3.98, but it has holes all in the sleeves down here in the wrist oh that kind of sucks here's a pair of pippin sixes that they want twenty dollars for so i don't know probably gonna pass on these i always wanted to be link for halloween here's some kd7 are these like hero blue or am i thinking lebron's i don't know 13 bucks though size 13. remember when andrew wiggins was supposed to be the next lebron Here's a pair of these women's ultra boosters, size eight and a half, so a seven in men's, but they want twenty bucks for them, so probably not gonna get them. A little pricey. A couple of years ago, that would have been a great deal. One of the things I regret passing on the most, like while I've been doing this on YouTube, is a surf style windbreaker that I found because it had a stain on the sleeve. I wish I'd go back and get it, but it's whatever. They have this newer long sleeve shirt right here, but yeah, it just made me think about that windbreaker I passed up on. But seriously, I have no idea why I find so many Charmanders. Check out what I just found. <laughs> the big baller brand, brand new with tags hoodie for five bucks, size small. I didn't think I would see anything like this in a while, but uh, what do you guys think for five bucks? Is it a cop? Check out the San Francisco 49ers um, nutmeg sweater I found. They want four bucks for it. It has a little tiny stain right there, but other than that, still really clean. This Winter Circle Dale Earnhardt Jr. long sleeve tee. Alright, so I just want to show you guys. Today is Friday the 13th, right? And I found this Camp Crystal Lake uh, long sleeve shirt. I feel like I should probably pick it up just because of that. <laughs> Here's this University of North Dakota uh, hoodie. Anytime I find anything with the Fighting Sioux logo on it, I get it. Because um, since they stopped using this logo uh, because of controversy... Uh, this stuff usually has value to it and that one is a size small for 4.98 and then i found this heather gray size large for four bucks winnie the pooh balloons are full of happy thoughts tea um huge graphic cool color so i don't know size 6y we got a pair of the cool gray 11 lows for 12.91 condition wise they're not bad they do have a little bit of ripping on the inside of the ankle but other than that they could just use a cleaning Here's a pair of the Air Max 95s in the neon colorway. Uh, these are from 2005, but as you can tell, they're the GS pair because they don't have a bubble in the front. Those are a size six and a half Y. Um, they need some regluing, as you can see, but I don't know. They're asking $8.99 on them. I was never a fan of how these GS ones look without that bubble. Here's this 2002 Harley uh, Carolina T. 2002 down there underneath the logo. They want 299 size XL. Most likely gonna get this for personal wear. This thing feels brand new too, like it's never been worn. Here's the San Francisco Pro Line 49ers T from 1994. Um, but it has this big hole in it, if you guys can see right there. So uh, that kind of sucks. Back here in the bag section, I did find this Jeff Gordon duffel bag. It'd be $3.25 today. Here's the bag and the insoles for, what are they for, the um, 2011s, I think? I don't know, you guys can let me know what these insoles are for, but I guess those are 325 too. Shoe section's pretty dry, they do have these um, black and white too, and under the sign, they have these Gatorade 6s. Here's this A Day to Remember tee for 95 cents. I actually used to listen to them a lot back in the day, not so much anymore. 
Here's this Harkley tee, but they want $6.99 for it, so most likely gonna pass on that one. It's Las Vegas from 2008. Universal Studios off who shirt for $1.99. Here's this Toby Keith Never Apologize for Being Patriotic shirt. That one is a size large on a bay side, and you got the little logo right there on the chest. We got the Element tee for $1.99 size XL. Growing up, I was a big BAM fan, and I always wanted Element clothes, but I just never got them. Hmm. I found the Zelda animated series. I really wanted this, but then I opened it, and it's missing the second disc, so that really sucks. Well, excuse me, princess. We got a pair of Playoff 13s right here. They want 20 bucks for them. They are a size 8. Not too bad, honestly. Um, usually when I find these, the toes are really, really scratched, but these are not bad. They just need a little uh, cleaning. That carbon fiber, though. Oh, damn! Here's this uh, Yawamushi Petal shirt by Crunchyroll. I don't know, I've never heard of it before, but it's only 95 cents. Then we got the Saitama tee for 95 cents, size medium. Still haven't seen season two yet. Um, I've heard good and bad things about it, but I'm still gonna watch it for myself and see how I feel. Okay. And then here's this vintage Fruit of Loom uh, striped shirt that for $3.99, I might pick this up for personal wear because I like the color. Nothing too special or crazy. And then check out the vintage starter jacket I found, size large. You got Rangers, the big patch on the sleeve, starter down there. Nothing on the back but the little MLB logo, but this one is $8.99. Check out this foam posit crew neck I found by Retro Kings, size large, $3.99. So I was going right here going through my clothes, adding up the stuff that I got, and I guess this was in there whenever I got the cart and I didn't notice. So I found this Uniqlo shirt, but I can't figure out what it is. Like, I thought it was Akuma from Street Fighter, but I don't think it is. If you guys know, let me know, but it's only 99 cents, so I'm gonna get it anyway. Here's this undefeated basketball jersey for five bucks. It does have some flaws, as you can see right there. It's a size medium. And then the same thing on the five on the back. Here's this Jimmer Fredette Sharks jersey. Um, this thing's fake though. But still kind of cool. First time seeing one of these. Size large for $3.99. Couple games. Uh, we got Lego Batman 3. Well, what I thought it was but on the inside. It's Lego Batman 2, but I mean, either way, it's not that great of a game anyway. <laughs> and then we have everybody's favorite Banjo-Kazooie game. Banjo nuts and bolts. What did they do to him in this game? I don't understand. I think I found my Halloween costume for this year. Some baby chrome 8s for... $3.99, but they're pretty scuffed up. Check out the Tommy Hilfiger long sleeve shirt I just found. Hilfiger spelt out on the stomach, size large for $6.99. Red, blue, and that cream color. And this thing feels pretty new too, like it hasn't been worn. Size large, we got the Patagonia zip up hoodie. Polar Tech Power Stretch, I guess, is what the tag says. I don't know. <laughs> so I don't pick up a lot of Chaps Ralph Lauren because it's usually not really worth anything. But I found this shirt and I actually really like the way it looks. It's like multicolored. I don't know, about for six bucks though. Here's this Looney Tune Classics crew neck or four bucks size large. You got Bugs Bunny on the front doing the Michael Jordan pose with a football. <laughs> that one is dated 1994. Oh, so I might grab this for personal wear because it does have like this little stain right there, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm here at Plato's Closet. I'm actually here a little earlier than I usually am. Uh, they're not even open yet. <laughs> So I'm just out here waiting. They open in like five minutes, so it's not a big deal, but we're gonna go in there and uh, see what they got. Hopefully they got something good for me this week. Some um, Cageless Ultra Boost for 35. I guess this is like the Vans aisle. These just do it Air Forces, 60 bucks though. No, thank you. We got some of these um, GS7s. Some Hall of Fame ones. I haven't seen these in a while. 45 bucks. We got some Nomos. 25. I've always been a fan of how these look. I just, I don't know. Never got a pair for some reason. Here's some Ultra Boost. They want 45 for them. But they're starting to rip right there on the toe. So, no thank you. So that's going to bring us to the end of this week's trip to the thrift, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe down below, and drop a comment. And I will see you guys next week with another one, so later.
Imagine all along, can face in twilight.